Hi everyone. Um, got a real tough project this time. It should keep me occupied for a few years and everything, but um, I've been looking for a um, Massey Ferguson 130 for a bit, and um, well, the 135s their price has gone a bit up rapidly and everything. So I thought I'd buy the um, French cousin type. Um, 1965. Um, runs alright. As you can see, the front of the grill is the front of the tractor is pretty smashed up there. It's had a head-on collision with something that's buckled all the front end and everything. Um, engine's in good mechanical condition. Get it going in a minute. Um, runs and drives nice. Clutch is on its way out, so we'll get a new clutch. Brakes, well, just to say, there aren't any brakes at all. Because it's diff brakes at the back there. It might just need adjusting or something like that, but I'm not too convinced. So I'll have to have a look about that. Um, gears are all fine and everything, high and low. And everything, eight, eight forwards, two reverse. Um, most of the dials work, the voltmeter works, and the oil pressure, but the water temperature doesn't work. It just sort of jumps up and down with the vibrations. Tachograph works fine and everything. Done about 2,500, 600 hours. Um, registers speed up and everything nice. Um, what else? Tim working in bad condition. Got to find, got to get another one of them make, but I could probably make one of them with my um, foundry skills. Um, not bad the tin work, but it, when you get around here, a bit there, gone, and you see the badge is gone there. The worst of it is probably going to be the front grill. I'll have to get a Massey Ferguson, Massey 1351, one. try and do that. Tires are pretty good condition, they're pretty new actually. Not bad, not bad. Um, no major oil leaks. The only leak we had was on top of the um, injector there, so I just replaced the washers and copper washers and everything. And that was all fine and everything. Not, not tidy little engine. Been, well, it's been in use all of its life. So I've um, been on a farm down in Liverpool. So there's a far way to get it. So I just don't want it to Fuel tank there. No leaks in that. Radiator. Only thing we have to look is the top of the air breather. It's missing, but as you can see, there's no bits in there or anything. Just nice. Bit of rust at the top of the bonnet there. Not too bad. Could be worse, but one interesting thing I bet not many of you have seen is 135s have got a fuel gauge. This one doesn't, so they actually throw some side you with a. Um, very nice little leather strap. I don't know if you can see on there. No, I don't think you will. Yeah, you might do. One half a tank. Full up there. Right over there. And a quarter of a tank. Down there. Well, I think it's quite neat and everything. And then down there. Fuel. Got enough fuel to last us to the day. The end of the history. <laughs> Battery, second battery I've put on it really. First one is knackered. Pretty on its way out and everything. Um, what else? But um, I think that's about it really. So I'm going to get it started for you now. Starting is pretty simple. Just got to go careful with your safety starter. Make sure you're not in gear as it won't start. Right then. Yeah, there is a bit, fair bit of play. The track rod ends there, so yeah, if you look at the wheel, nothing happens, you have to really turn it to make actual difference. The old Massey Ferguson cap there, quite good condition because they have quite a hard fight thing to find now. No engine plate, but probably been taken off and put in somewhere else. But as you can see with the water gauge, if you look at it, it just jumps up and down. So, um, let's go get it going then. Let's make sure this is in neutral. Pretty neutral. 
from not clutching. I mean, another thing I would say is starting procedures down there in English, which is a surprise. But this one is made in France. If you look down there, it's got all the French words. I don't know if you can see petite there. Um, no, you can't really see it. Anyway, right then. We've had it run, so we don't need any of the heat today. Right then. Right, that gear. There you go. Starts up not too bad. As I say. Got a rattly weather cap. There you go. So the charging, so I guess. Let's go for a little drive. Clutching. As you say, the gearbox is on its way out, really. Right, here we go. There we go. Going at 8 mile an hour, and too bad. Coasting along nice. There we go, 11 mile an hour. No real rattles, just the back gearbox, differentials, hydraulics don't work. Power takeoff just about works. That only sorting out really. As I see, there's the water there, just flat around doing nothing. All the gears work, all high and lows work and everything. So, um, 